Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot and this is a pick a card for uh, Monday the 19th of December. When did that happen? Like when did, where did, no, where did December go? <laughs> like um, anyway, so yeah, this is pile number one, the blue appetite. Pile number two is the pink rhodochrosite and pile number three is the red jasper. So um, I will just give you a second to choose your pile and obviously if you want more time you can pause the video. Okay, so that is pile number three. That's number two and pile number one you are the blue appetite. Okay, so pile number one you have the three of wands, take the lead. You have the nine of swords. You have the Six of Swords, <laughs> you have the Page of Swords, so many swords, pile number one, and you have the Seven of Wands. Okay, um, it's time to move on from something, pile number one. Okay, there's something, something from the past mm -hmm, um, that's kept you kind of defensive, okay? It, it's time to look to the future, like it's time, whatever that was, it's time to move on, okay? Um, there was something in the past that made you very anxious, that was like, you know, made you very sad. There was like a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of overthinking. You know, the Nine of Swords is, it's, it's misery, you know, but there's also an element with the Nine of Swords of kind of projecting, like projecting the worst onto the future because of things that have happened in the past, right? Say, for example, this is love. You know, say you had like a really bad relationship in the past and you're kind of still holding on to it. You know, um, maybe, I don't know, it might help you to do a little bit of work on your heart chakra. If you want to know how to do that, check out my other channel. The link is in the description box. But yeah, see with the Six of Swords here, like it's time to move on from whatever it is, okay? Like let your defenses down because whatever it is, it's over now, okay? I feel like this may be for those of you, like, maybe this happened, like, I don't know, six months, a year, maybe it's been, like, a while, you know what I mean? And you've still been kind of holding on to it, because whatever it was, was really shitty, right? But yeah, it's time to stop kind of projecting it onto the future. So, um, yeah, definitely maybe some heart chakra work might suit you, pile number one. And maybe a little, a little bit your root chakra as well, okay? I hope that was a useful message, pile number one. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I wish you many, many blessings, love and light. Take care. Um, pile number two, you were the pink rhodochrosite. So you have, oh, you have the six of pentacles giving and receiving. That's a nice card. So that's a nice card. You, ooh, you have the lovers, which is also a number six. So this is harmony coming into your life. You have some kind of relationship coming in now, and I'm going to say it's like romantic love because you have the pink rhodochrosite. It's definitely someone new as well, um, like a newer energy. Like this is not some, like this is not a person where you have tons and tons of baggage. You know what I mean? And it's equal give and take is the thing. This is a soulmate energy as well. Like when you have the lovers, it's a soulmate. So this may be someone that you've been in separation with, or it could be someone totally new that you've not met yet. But it's like very equal give and take, you know. Oh, we have the Emperor. Oh, this person coming in, they could be an Aries, but this is like daddy energy, mummy energy. Um, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So this person is very, very stable. And you have the Six of Wands here as well. So there may have been, you may have been attracted to pile number one. I have no idea if this camera is straight or not. I'm really sorry if it's squint, like, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't, I can't get it straight today. Um, there may have been a bit of a delay with this. And I think some of you watching this may have been attracted to pile number one. Like there may have been something in your past to do with love that was very, um, like it really floored you, you know, there was something that really hurt you in the past and it took you a while to recover from it, 
So I feel like that's why this has been delayed coming in because you were kind of subconsciously kind of projecting the worst onto like new love and like being a little defensive. Totally get it, you know, it's all subconscious. Nobody does it on purpose, right? But I feel that now you've let go of that, it's time for this person to come in. Um, very, very stable, okay, maybe slow moving, <laughs> but uh, they're not going anywhere. Like this is someone who's in it for the long haul, very stable, very methodical, very patient. The emperor, like I said, this is like daddy, mummy type of energy. Um, specifically it's daddy energy because it's the emperor. So even if you're dealing with a woman, she might have that kind of boss energy, you know what I mean? Um, but very loyal, very faithful, usually very successful, very wise, very well respected. Mm -hmm. And I think you've also been learning, pile number two, you've been learning to receive. Because this person is someone, like they want to give to you. And I know that you're going to want to give to them, but this is someone who's going to want to give back to you. You know, it's like very equal. But I think that, that those of you that chose this pile have been learning how to receive so that um, when this person came in, you know, you were actually receptive to their help and to their love and stuff. Because they're going to want to do nice things for you, right? <laughs> um, so that is your message, pile number two. Uh, I hope it was useful. Many thanks for watching. And as always, you know, I wish you many, many blessings, love and light. And pile number three, you were the red jasper. So you have the six of cups, simply love. <clears throat> oh, my throat totally closed up there. <laughs> um, you have the three of swords. Okay, so there's been some kind of heartbreak in your past. You have the queen of cups. You have the six of cups again. Oh my God. Um, definitely something from your past. You have the Ten of Wands. And you also have the Five of Cups. So there's you take this as it resonates, okay? But I'm kind of picking up for some of you. This isn't going to be for all of you, but only take it if it resonates, okay? There may have been some kind of issue with your mother or like a mother type figure. That could also be a gran or a sister or an aunt or something who was kind of forceful with you. Or there was just something because my throat closed up, which makes me think, you know, usually the throat closes up like that in situations where you kind of learn that it's not in your best interest to speak your mind or to ask for your needs to be fulfilled. So you may have had like, you know, some kind of female figure when you were younger, could even be high school, like bullying or something that, that kind of squashed you a little bit or you had to repress your feelings and your needs so you wouldn't upset them, okay? That's only for some of you. If that's the case, I feel like you're finally releasing that and your throat chakra is going to open because it's like it's safe. I know it's safe now for me to kind of speak and say what's on my mind and speak my truth and my needs and whatever, right? And for those of you who do something creative, that's really, really going to help you because the throat chakra is like the seat of self-expression. So when it's blocked, you, you know, how can you be creative, right? The red jasper stone that you chose is known as the warrior stone. So I feel like, um, I feel like there may also have been a heartbreak here. You have the two, the six of cups twice and the five of cups and the three of swords. So there was some kind of, there was some kind of heartbreak to do with like a love affair where the person, you know, broke your heart basically, okay? And I think you've carried this around for a while with the Ten of Wands. Spirit wants you to know that the reason for all these things happening in your life was to turn you into a warrior, okay? Because the Queen of Cups is someone who, she's really, really sweet, she's really kind, she's really empathetic, she's really nice, but she actually has a tendency to be like quote unquote too nice and kind of lack boundaries, which again, for those of you that resonated with the mother thing, you know, if you had like a, a mother like that, who was constantly overstepping your boundaries, that's something that you're going to carry into adulthood because you don't understand what good boundaries are. 
because you were never allowed to have them, right? <laughs> Basically. So all of this has been to teach you boundaries. So it's like you still have the empathy and the love and the intuition and the softness, but now you have the boundaries to back it up where you're like, no, <laughs> sorry, like you're not stepping over my boundary. This is the line, you don't cross it, you don't like that, then fuck off. I don't care, I don't give a shit. That's the line in the sand, do what you like. Because that's the kind of warrior mentality where you're still like, you haven't let anything break you, but you have let it teach you what you will and will not accept, right? But you're still lovely. So that's your message, pile number three. I hope it was useful. Um, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I wish you many, many blessings. Love and light. Take care.